Now, they're following in the wake of a long line of monarchs and raising money for charity in the process. Members of Windsor Lions Club are spending three days rowing a royal barge on the River Thames to help sport for the disabled. Well, they began their marathon at Henley's Leander Club, heading downriver to historic Marlow. Tomorrow, they'll pass through Cookham, Bray and Maidenhead and end their 70-mile journey on Sunday at Eton. Helen James gave them a helping hand. To our sweethearts and our wives, may they never meet. <laughs> a traditional Royal Navy toast with a tot of rum at Henley's Leander Club, the home of British rowing. A fitting way to celebrate the bicentenary of Trafalgar and begin a three-day marathon row, which will raise money to help people with disabilities gain confidence and medals through sport. What we do is provide opportunities and facilities for our members to get involved in the top level of sport. And there are many, many instances by so doing that it really dramatically changes their quality of life. Isn't this magnificent? This is a royal barge, a replica of a royal shallop. And the monarchs since the 1400s have travelled up and down the Thames in one of these. And the last person to appear at Henley for the regatta was King George V in 1912. Well, in the throne today is uh, the Right Honourable Theresa May, MP for Maidenhead. What a wonderful way to travel. It's an absolutely superb way, isn't it? It's, it's glorious. The oarsmen are doing very well. A very smooth, regal and stately ride. And this is all for a good cause, isn't it? It's for an extremely good cause. It's raising money for sport for the disabled and particularly for WAMSAD, which is the Disabled Sports Association in Maidenhead in my constituency. This vessel is really quite young. It was only built in 1997 in Laleham. Uh, but it is a copy of uh, Queen Mary's barge from 1689. Um, the original barge itself is in the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich. But there's an art to rowing a shallop. If I paddle too fast or too slow, we won't keep in time. <laughs> I'm out of sync with the front row. No, you're, do you're doing fine. So what makes a good rower, do you think? I have no idea, because this is the first time I've done it. Oh, it's like the blind leading <laughs> the blind, isn't it? You've got fixed seats, you've got very long oars, everything's a bit ungainly. And uh, obviously the people who are rowing here, it's their first time. Today is their very first. So I think they're doing very well. And the Windsor Lions aim to finish their charity challenge in Eton on Sunday, just in time for lunch. Helen, watch your stroke. I'm doing my <laughs> Helen James in Henley for Meridian tonight. An impressive vessel and an impressive rower. Very. Perfect conditions as well. <laughs> Now they're following in the wake of a long line of monarchs and raising money for charity in the process. Members of Windsor Lions Club are spending three days and rowing 70 miles on the River Thames to raise money for people with disabilities. And our reporter, Helen James, is with them. Helen. Yes, isn't this magnificent? This is a royal barge, a replica of a royal shallop. And the monarchs since the 1400s have travelled up and down the Thames in one of these. And the last person to appear at Henley for the regatta was King George V in 1912. Well, in the throne today is uh, the Right Honourable Theresa May, MP for Maidenhead. What a wonderful way to travel. It's an absolutely superb way, isn't it? It's, it's glorious. The oarsmen are doing very well. A very smooth, regal and stately ride. And this is all for a good cause, isn't it? It's for an extremely good cause. It's raising money for sport for the disabled and particularly for WAMSAD, which is the Disabled Sports Association in Maidenhead in my constituency. Wonderful organisation, provides a lot of enjoyment to people, but also we've got some Paralympians there who, of course, now training up for 2012. And you're really supporting this and you're going to be at Bolter's Lock tomorrow, aren't you? Indeed I am, yes. The route is on the northern edge of my constituency on the river and I'm going to be pleased to join everybody at Bolter's Lock. I won't be quite as tired as the people who've been rowing there, though. No, it's exhausting work. And the man behind it all is Harry Purchase from the uh, Windsor Lions Club. Harry, a lot of organisation gone into this. Certainly has. Um, about eight months ago we started this. Uh, the Lions Club of Windsor came right behind it, which was good, and it's designed to celebrate the bicentenary of the Battle of Trafalgar. Just Admiral tell me Lord about Mason. the route. Well, the route from here is uh, down to Marlow tonight, uh, where we're moored up, and then tomorrow down to, um, actually, the waterside of Bray. I shouldn't say that, should I? But anyway, I've said it. And then on to Eton College Boathouse. So it's three days. We'll probably do something around 70 miles because we'll be going up and down stretches of the river and raising money. Excellent. So come and support them if you can. They finish at 12 o'clock at Eton Boathouse on Sunday. And we'll have a full report on today's events on Meridian tonight at 6 o'clock. And we're just going to sit on the throne and enjoy ourselves, aren't we?
Thanks, Helen. Lovely way to spend the afternoon.